I'm meteorologist Carl Bonac. Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand for November 27th and 28th. On the 27th, the official high reached 21, the low 13. Put it all together, the cold period continues 8 degrees below average for the 27th. 53 the record high in that Super El Nino year just off of it in 1998. And 0 and 77 also in the uh, big El Nino year it was coming up in 1982. That winter turned out to be quite warm. As far as snowfall goes, during the day on uh, Wednesday, the 27th, there was 8 inches of snow out in uh, the big snow country, the Gogibic Range at Hurley. 3 inches from our weather watcher at Copper Harbor, uh, just about 6 at the National Weather Service site near Nagani. Uh, even in the eastern UP, kind of unusual, but those snow bands actually worked in to Newberry. During the afternoon, there was a quick two inches that came down in about uh, an hour and a half. And even down in extreme northwestern Delta County, five miles west of Rock, seven and a half inches uh, during the 24-hour uh, period. As far as any other advisories for Thanksgiving, only up in the Copper Country, specifically Keweenaw County. It looks like a easterly flat fetch blowing across a wide area of Lake Superior will enhance some snow there. Several inches could come down with the next disturbance. That's now working in from the northwest. The big storm along the east coast that caused rain in the big cities through uh, eastern New England is heading up into Quebec. For us, here's the way it looks on Thursday. That uh, low pressure area will be passing through Wisconsin. It'll be weak, only um, trace to maybe a dusting over most of the UP, though heavier snows up in the far northern Keweenaw Peninsula. That low moves off, high pressure takes over, some snow showers and flurries likely off of Lake Superior on Friday, but the way it looks, it doesn't look impressive at all. Then the next low pressure area works in from the northwest. This low should pass to the north and like earlier in the week, winds ahead of it will go to the south. That means a warm, uh, modest warm up with a chance of some light snow, especially over the north and east. Your TV six day forecast. Then temperatures remain moderate, just a little bit below average into the first of next week. Um, actually close to our normals now as they continue to drop.